What's up YouTube? This is James back at you with another informative video. This video, while well, this story right here comes out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, uh, where I live, and uh, was sent to me by a sister, uh, Pat Hughes. Shout out to Pat Hughes for this. Duly appreciated. Much love. Um, well, as you can see, divided in the Methodist Church. Why some leaders don't agree with it. A, B, C, D, E people. <laughs> well, the A, B, C, LGBTQ band. You know, <laughs> uh, I do that shit because, you know, I hate how they still letters from the alphabet. To, you know what I mean? To, to, to be recognized, number one. Number two, pervert the colors of the rainbow. Because the colors of the rainbow, the most high, sent here to this earth. To remind us that he will never flood the earth again. That's what the colors of the rainbow was about. You see what I mean? Number three. The way they ripped off the word gay. Gay does not mean twisted, debaucherous sexual behavior. Okay? It doesn't mean that. So, okay, to get into this story right here, let's see what this video is talking about. And then I'll come back with my commentary. Fort Wayne's trusted news source, ABC 21. Divide in the Methodist Church now, and some say they don't quite know how to move forward. Almost 900 delegates from the Methodist Church decided yesterday to continue a ban on LGBTQ people. The vote nearly split right down the middle. That ban means people in the LGBTQ community can't serve in leadership roles in the church, and the church will not recognize same-sex marriage. But as ABC 21 reporter Caitlin Kendall tells us, some church leaders say they are going to preach how they see fit. Do not judge one another. Exactly what we did yesterday. We judged. Pastor Jacob Williams of Aldersgate United Methodist Church in Fort Wayne has been preaching for the United Methodist Church for 38 years and says after Tuesday's vote to pass the traditional plan, he isn't sure the church will remain a cohesive unit. What you're saying is no to God's creation. How do we do that? In the 1960s, church board members once voted to exclude African Americans from the church. Williams says this is the same thing. They excluded me just for no other reason than my color. So who am I to do that against anybody else? The plan essentially means the church's rules will stay the same, that no one in a same-sex relationship can be a church leader, and that same-sex marriages won't be recognized. It feels hypocritical. William says it basically means gays aren't accepted in the church. If you don't see it my way, then it's the highway for you. How dare us to say that? After a vote of 438 to 384 at the St. Louis gathering, the issue has church members divided and church leaders trying to address any differences. Despite what happens here, the gathering is going to continue to move forward with a ministry that fully includes all people, including uh, LGBTQ people. I don't know how I'm going to relate to them. Because you can't reject anybody. William says churches are already leaving the denomination because of the issue. As for how William says he views the ban? As I see it, nothing has changed. I'm going to love them as I have always loved them. Now, when it comes to marrying them, according to our discipline, we're not supposed to do that. But I'll cross the bridge when I get there. Caitlin Kendall, ABC 21. Okay, now, I'm not down with what, you know, the pastor of Williams, where he coming from with that. First of all, stop comparing being black. You understand what I mean? The children of the descendants of the Elohim himself with debaucherous sexual deviant behavior. Stop doing that. That's not cool. It's not right. It's not fair. Being black has nothing to do with that kind of behavior. Number one, that's not cool. Stop doing that. Number two, they talking about a divide. Well, let me tell you this. Our father, the most high, is definitely a homophobe. See, he's a homophobe and there's going to be a divide. See, the father's word says, basically, you know, not, I'm just going to point that out right there. You know, this particular situation, it says a lot of things about who ain't going to make it in the kingdom. 
You know, but I can tell you this. On this particular situation, it says a man ain't supposed to take the sex or the sexual act of a woman and put on the clothes of a woman, just like a woman is not supposed to take the place of the sexual act of a man, put on man clothes. In other words, a man ain't got no business with no man, and no woman ain't got no business with no woman. Talking about no sex. If that's the way the most high wanted to be, ain't no way in the hell. The world will be populated the way it is now. It takes a man and a woman to do that. Now, anybody with common sense know that shit. That's just the way it is, you know? See? That's the way it works. So they can quit trying to force. Don't force your... Ain't nobody trying to be unsaved just because you want to walk that that, that, that wide-ass road right there. Wide and file, my, may I add. That's why and file. Don't try to force uh, your, your fucked up ways on us. We don't want to take part in marrying you. We don't want, we don't want, what, what kind of priest that, that's supposed to be a representative and stand as a beacon of light for the most high himself? Go do some debaucherous behavior like that. Marry two men. Marry two women. That's satanic. It's sacrilege. Anybody with common sense know that. Now they all up in the damn church. Create your own fucked up churches. That's what you do. A, B, C, D, E people. Go get your own churches. What y'all do. You understand what I mean? Then that way if y'all want to do that kind of shit. All y'all the same. Hey. Separate. Quit trying to, 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 to taint. The way the most high meant for things to be with the man and woman. Okay. If that's what you want to do, go and get your own churches. Church full of sexual deviants. Man on man, woman on woman. That's what you do. And as another thing is Pastor Williams here talking about, running to my, oh, we judge today. You know, he's pointing the finger in the, in the Bible. No, 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 no. You're supposed to call out unrighteousness. That's what you're supposed to do. Ain't got nothing to do with no judging. You're supposed to call out unrighteousness. So if you see a thief stealing and one of the Ten Commandments clearly say, thou shall not steal, and you tell that person, you judging me. No, bullshit. Nobody judging you. That's just telling you ain't supposed to steal. Nobody judging you. See? But I digress. That was my own opinion on the situation. And that's why I stand with it. Let's get into the story. Oh, and if I stepped on some people's toes, too bad. Too bad. Because like I said, you know what I mean? I'm a descendant of the Elohim himself. You know what I mean? I'm a descendant. I'm a descendant of Elohim. And uh, I'm representing. That's just all there is to it. Okay. divide in in the methodist church and some say they don't know how to move forward anybody belongs to the church and up until yesterday we were together now we are divided probably forever says pastor jacob williams of the altar altars gate united methodist church almost 900 delegates from the methodist church decided yesterday to continue a ban on the LGBTQ people. <sighs> anyway, the ban means people in the LGBTQ community can't serve in leadership roles in the church. And the church will not recognize same-sex marriages. Like I said, and I'm going to say it again, the Most High, you ain't going to serve in the kingdom and he ain't going to recognize you being messed up like that either. So whatever. Here, here's the forerunner right here on this planet. This one right here on this earth. So get used to it. You ain't gonna be there. See? But anyway, some church leaders say they're going to continue to preach how they see fit. Pastor Williams has been preaching for the United Methodist Church for 38 years and say after Tuesday's vote to pass the traditional plan he isn't sure the church will remain 
a cohesive unit. What you are see, saying is no to God's creation. Again, stop. God, that, that, that's not God's creation. That's not God's creation. Stop with that, man. How do you do that? What gives us the right to say no to anybody because God created them that way? No, he didn't, said Williams. He didn't. He didn't. That shit was a choice. It's a choice. A anything that was, you know, that didn't happen in a science lab, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a choice. It's a choice. Still. In the 1960s, church board members of the Methodist Church voted to exclude African Americans from the church. William said, he feels this is the same thing. I don't. And besides, it, it, well, I'm not even going to get into that. This ain't. I'm just, I just really don't like the way they always leech in this debaucherous sexual deviant behavior with civil rights and being descendants of the Elohim. See? I don't like that. It's not cool. They excluded me for no other reason because of my color. So who am I to do that against anybody else? Said Williams. The ban essentially means the church rules will stay the same. That no one in a same-sex relationship can be a church leader. And that same church and that same-sex marriage won't be recognized. Williams said, says it feels hypocritical and as to basically means gays aren't accepted in church. Like I said, go y'all, y'all go build your own churches. Go just go and drift off, go and get your own country, whatever, and go do what y'all do. See, uh well, if this if this behavior is really accepted by the Mo Most High, then tell me why Sodom and Gomorrah, <laughs> you know, right now where 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 them two angels went and tore that place up, all kinds of stuff like that was going on. Oh man, they was. I'm telling you, uh, 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 not only you know uh, sexual deviant behavior, man on man, woman on woman, they was doing stuff with children. They was doing things with animals and everything you understand what i mean and i'm gonna tell you something else too see when you let this kind of you stand by and let this kind of stuff go on how many i'm gonna tell you right now just like in prisons where people where where people go and they go in there straight a man go in there straight and get raped they fought them them kind of people force themselves on men they're gonna be doing that shit they they doing it out here in the streets same thing with the women Bullshit. The women do the same thing with, 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 with them women who do shit like that. They force themselves on women that don't play that kind of shit. See? Check that out. See, that's what that's the reason why the Most High sent them two angels to Sodom and Gomorrah and leveled that damn place. You see what I mean? And where that where it is now, no grass, nothing grows there. It's a desolate ass area. You see? Desolate. This shit is not to be accepted. Now, what make you think that w w which is already it's already written in, in the Bible? You understand? I mean that uh, I don't know when, but he's gonna do the same thing to this 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 earth because there's so much of this kind of shit happening along with other you know uh, abominable things. See, but back to the story, Williams. Okay, I said that. If you don't see it my way, then it's the highway for you. How dare us to say that, added Williams. After a vote of 438 to 384, at the St. Louis gathering, the issues the issue has church members divided and church leaders trying to address any differences. I think the important thing is Despite what happens here, the gathering is going to continue to move forward with a ministry that fully includes all people, including LGBTQ people, 
said Matt Mafalski. Mia, Mia, Mia Mafalski. I guess it's, yeah, Mafalski, I think. Who organized the gathering. William says, says churches are already leaving the denominations because of the issue. Jesus died for all of us, including you. We will keep that in check, said Williams. Now, the Messiah, Yehoshua, did not die for de to do debaucherous behavior. He didn't do that. That's not what he did. He, 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 didn't, he did not let the enemy do that to him for people to be able to do debaucherous behavior, sexual deviant behavior. Okay? He didn't do that. Williams says he will continue to preach how he sees fit. As long as it, as long as I see it, nothing has changed. I am going to love them as I have always loved them. And the rules say I'm not supposed to marry them, but I'll cross that bridge when the time comes. Pastor Williams says the bishop is set to talk to everyone affiliated with the Methodist church on March 3rd. Well, Pastor Williams, let me tell you this. If that's what you want to do, you want to go ahead and de de defile your hands, you know what I mean? And, and you know that, well, are you a real pastor, first of all? Because it, it, do you really know the most high, first of all? Now, you want as one, I'm going to go ahead and test you, you know, and come on, you, will you marry us, please? Uh, yes, we want to get married. We think it's only right that we should get the same benefit that anybody else gets. Yes, we really do. Can you please marry us? And all that. You gonna fucking do it? I tell you what. Go ahead and play with your salvation. That's all you gotta do. Find out the heart. The most high ain't playing. Y'all want to all oh, everything. God loves everybody. Well, why? He said, Jacob, I love Esau. I hate it. Answer me that. Tell me that. Keep playing. Why the hell is Satan? Gonna be cast in the burning lake along with his evil ass demons, huh? Tell me that. Tell me why everybody else that's following this satanic ass way of this world gonna be cast in that burning lake. Tell me that, Pastor Williams. See, Mr. All Love, Mr. More Righteous than the Most High. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, you know, I, I, I might have stepped on somebody's toes, but uh, that's too bad. You know, if I stepped on your toes, then you must be, you know, an enemy of what I represent. And like I said, I represent, you know, the Elohim, who I'm a descendant of. And that's just the way it is. And that's too bad. You know, if you feel any other way, you ain't got nothing good to say. Keep it to yourself. You know, but this is James. And uh, y'all like, comment, share and subscribe. Tell me what y'all think about the situation. You know what I mean? And um, I'm out. Peace.